Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. In this video, we are gonna talk about the machine learning, why it is getting so much popular and what are the steps to get started in machine learning, what are the prerequisites and clearing up some myths and doubts about the machine learning. Stay tuned, let's get started about it. <laughs> In this channel, we talk about the programming, technical, and everything related to the computers and technology. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Now let's talk about the machine learning. So first of all, what is machine learning and why it is getting so much popular? Now, let me be clear up with the fact that a lot of companies are actually implementing or they're not actually saying it, but somehow they are uh, creating this message to the users to give a little bit hype to their companies that machine learning is actually artificial intelligence. Now AI is actually slightly different and I would call it very much different from the machine learning. Machine learning is very close to the data mining. Now this might be a little bit new fact to you but yes that's the truth. And uh, In case you don't know what is data mining let me clear that up too. Now, data mining is really simple. We get a lot of data. And in fact, you might be already familiar uh, with the recent hype of the terms like big data and uh, deep learning and machine learning. Now, the problem with the every company and every software industry now is data. Now, first of all, every company was after uh, collecting the data. Google, Facebook, and everybody was collecting the data. Now, once we have that data, the problem is how we can get result from that data because that data is gazillion, bazillion in the amount and it's not easy to predict patterns in that data or to predict or to filter out some of the advantageous result from that data. Now, here comes the role of data mining. In the data mining, with that gazillion, bazillion of the data set, we apply some rules, uh, some of the algorithms, so that we can predict some good amount of information from the data, because a lot of part of that data is actually garbage, and we want to take out that information part, the good part of the data. Now, this is known as the data mining. And it is not a new thing, it has been around for so many years, a lot of research scholars have done their masters and their doctorates in the data mining, so it's not a new thing. Now what makes it popular in nowadays because uh, now the data is actually available quite a lot and every company wants to utilize that data and here comes your machine learning. Now machine learning is again a kind of an advanced version of data mining and in that you apply, basically it goes on with uh, two types of learning, the supervised learning and the unsupervised learning. And what you're doing is you are taking the data, you are defining a model that, hey, this is how you need to recognize a pattern and then you apply that, to, apply that model to your data set. And once you apply that, you try to find out what is your error rate and try to reduce that error rate. Now again, you, you do these things again and remodel the data a little bit to increase uh, the higher percentage of success rate, reducing the error rate again, and there you go. It's a, river, a continuous cycling process that you do in the machine learning. Now, why it is get po getting popular nowadays? Now, since uh, a lot of libraries has come around in the Python and that actually makes it so much easier to do all kind of machine learning. Now, by no means machine learning is not going to be like uh, the Terminator movie that you might have seen conquering the world, artificial intelligence movie into the world, that, that's not like it. Machine learning is very different. Now, you have been already uh, being affected by the machine learning quite a lot because the suggestions that you see on IMDB or maybe at Amazon that uh, you should look out for these products are actually all part and results of the machine learning. They look out for a huge number of data sets about your looking habits, what kind of product is good for you, what kind of products should you be looking for and what sales can they make if they show the product to you. This is all machine learning, this is all advantages to the company. You might have already seen that in the Facebook news feed. Facebook gives you news, news feeds based on what kind of scrolling you are making, where you stopped your scrolling and what post you are liking, uh, which friends you are searching for more. So all kind of these things are actually already there and that's how the machine learning goes. Now let's come on to the learning part, why the machine learning and how you can get actually started with the machine learning. Now getting started with machine learning is comparatively easy now because of the two giants, the R and the Python. 
Now, I'm not a big fan of R, although it's a very great language, it's a great uh, mechanism that you can utilize, but I, since I'm already into Python quite a lot, and I've been programming in the Python for quite a long time, that is why my favorite choice obviously would be to just started uh, getting started in the data mining and uh, the machine learning via the Python. And I personally believe that's an easy choice, uh, because if you look out uh, for... Uh, the libraries that you can have are, are actually much more in the Python. So uh, that is one of my uh, tip would be just get started with the Python and eventually you can go with the uh, machine learning. Now, what kind of data models are applied? Now, a lot of people say is that you don't need to be a mathematical guru for the machine learning and somehow to some aspect uh, they are true, you don't need to be but there are some uh, prerequisites that are definitely should be there. Now, in most of the courses and most of the books, they give you these prerequisites, like the Bayes theorems, neural, uh, uh, neural network classifications, and the linear network classifications, and all such uh, predefined algorithm, which uh, come with the Synets and all such libraries in the, Pynet, in the Python. So uh, you can apply them quite easily, but Definitely a little bit knowledge to the Bayes theorem and all these things are definitely required while learning the machine uh, learning. Now again, it's it's a growing field. Definitely it has got a lot of future, but it's not the easiest one. Uh, it's, it's not really, if you'll compare to the app development and web development, it's actually above uh, there because there are a lot of prerequisites. But again, if you're comfortable with the Python and uh, this field really uh, impresses you quite a lot and you are a newbie there, uh, definitely you should give it a try. It's, it's not that much hard. And uh, since especially in the, and the libraries uh, like uh, the scikit, uh, there are a lot of uh, pre-built in things that are given to you. And uh, if you're getting worried about that, hey, from where we are going to get the data sets, uh, the scikit is actually a good library. Definitely look out for that. And uh, they give you a lot of libraries like, uh, like predicting the flowers of iris and, and a lot of things that you can uh, play around with them. So I hope you find this video interesting about machine learning. It has cleared up a lot of doubts, I, I believe so. If still you are having some doubt about the new and latest technology and more about machine learning or anything like that, uh, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. I'll make sure that I make a video of that, clearing all of the doubts and making sure that you get the right guide in getting started in that particular technology. Definitely go ahead, check out the machine learning, uh, read more blogs and get more uh, knowledge about that. That's always a good way of getting started in new technology. Okay, with this video, I will say if you're new here, consider subscribing. And in case you think that this video can be helpful for somebody, then definitely share that on your social media accounts.